Welcome everyone. I welcome you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. I am Brother Hosanna David. In case you've not subscribed, please try subscribe to our YouTube channel Eagle Eye Opener and Biblical Sexual Purity. Follow us on social media at Eagle Eye Opener. Today, I want to share the word of God with us. And I know that many may not like what I want to say now, but it is burning in my heart and I can't hold it back. Today, I feel very, very sad because of what is happening in the world and in the church in particular. I know sometimes some people reach me and they ask me this question. Why is it that when you preach sometimes you feel so emotional, you feel sad? Why is it that sometimes you scream? And sometimes I answer them and ask a very simple question. If you see a child walking towards a bottomless pit, what would you do? Would you scream and make the child to stop, halt the child so that you can rescue the child, run towards the child and pull the child back? Or you just maybe just call very calmly, Junior, Junior, look back. Is that what you're going to do? Are you going to scream, Junior, stop? If you love the souls of men and you see that they are heading to destruction, you would scream the same way John the Baptist did. The same way Jesus Christ preached with passion and wept for Jerusalem when he saw what was coming ahead of Jerusalem, he would do likewise. Today, I want to talk about God is angry with a sinner every day. This is a truth that some persons don't want to listen to. So many lies today have been spread everywhere. The false teachers, majority of them have so much money and they are so popular. They are loved by the world and by many people. So they have almost everything they need. They have demonic powers at their, at their reach. So they have these false miracles, false uh, signs and wonders. They can deceive people. Some even use charity to blindfold people. It is believed by many that whosoever that is generous is a good person. But some use it as a cover-up. It is good to be generous, but it is not everyone that is generous that is genuine. Some use it to cover up for their evil so that when they tell you that God is not angry with the sinner, you will believe them. It is not every miracle. That is of God. A lot of times Satan performs signs and wonders too. Read Matthew chapter 24, especially verse 24, that false Christ shall arise and they will perform great signs and wonders. And they will deceive many that even if it were to be possible, the elect would be deceived. Today, it is believed that the grace of God covers our sins, that it doesn't matter what you do. Once you are saved, you are always saved. This is a lie from the pits of hell. And all those who spread this lie and encourage people to be comfortable in their sins are going to the place that the devil himself will end up. That place is the pits of hell. 
I want to read Second Timothy chapter four verses verses three and four. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having each in ear, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. A time will come, and the time is now, that people will no longer bear with the truth, that they will hate those who tell them the truth, and they will heap up teachers for themselves, false pastors and prophets, who will teach them and tell them what they want to hear. Paul Washer said, he said, false teachers and pastors, they are the judgment of God upon those who reject the truth. And that is the truth. When you reject God, when you fail to hear the truth, the devil will be made available to you and his agents. Because when you leave the light, you will definitely meet with darkness. And the devil will supply you with everything you need to go to the hell that has been prepared for him and his angels. People hate the truth. When you tell them that God is constantly angry with the sinner, they don't want to hear because they have itching ears. Psalm, Psalm, chapter 7, let me open my Bible to Psalm, chapter 7, I think verse 11, okay, yes, Psalm 7, verse 11, God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. How many people tell you this truth? We have divided the Bible into many parts. Some parts of the Bible we see as nothing, as stories, as nothing, not relevant anymore. Some other parts we see as not for us. Any side of the Bible, any, any part of the Bible that has to do with the judgment of God, that has to do with the truth, we throw it away. And any part of the Bible that has to do with blessings, we embrace with both hands and we claim them and memorize those scriptures. Don't be deceived. God cannot, can never be mocked. Whatsoever thing a man sows, that shall he also reap. He that sows evil is going to reap evil. The Bible says, Psalm 7 verse 11, that God is constantly angry with the sinner. It doesn't matter the number of people that tell you that God, God's grace covers your sins and that God does not look at your body. He looks only at your heart. It doesn't matter whether you're a sinner, whether you're living in sin. It doesn't matter whether, whether you kill. It doesn't matter whether you're possessed with demonic spirits that God is, does not care anymore. Once you are saved, you are saved. If anybody tells you this, he is a deceiver and he wants you to languish in hell. Today, people are being robbed in churches. I'm not saying there are no true churches and, there are, and that there are no true men of God. There are two true ones, but very, very few, as the Bible rightly said before now. Today, people are being robbed of their money. They are being robbed of their time. They are being robbed of their service to God. They are being robbed of their souls. The church of the modern church has become a sieve where men are being sieved of everything good. They are being milked of their money, milked of their time, milked their respect, dehumanize them, give them snacks to eat, give them grass to eat, give them all sort of things to eat, walk on them, make them bow down to human beings, and all sort of things are happening in the church today in the name of the Spirit said, which spirit? evil spirits 
whatsoever thing that is against this holy Bible is false. If anybody tells you that the Spirit says, God says, and what they are saying is against this holy Bible, it is false and it is from the pit of hell. God can never contradict himself. If anybody says anything that is against this written word of God, don't take it. It is wrong. It is false. The Spirit of God is one. God is one. And God can never contradict himself. God is not a man that he should change. He does not change. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the word of God. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God does not change. His word does not change. So if anybody tells you the Spirit says, the Holy Spirit says, I should sleep with you. When you know you are not married to the person, it is wrong, it is false, it is from the pit of hell. There are many spirits in the world. That is why the Bible says we should test all spirits. How do you test all spirits? With the spirit of discernment and with the word of God. And by looking into the lives of people who are quoting the supposed spirit, whether they bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. By their fruit, you shall know them. Deception is high. Let's look at the Bible. Today, I am angry because a lot of people have been deceived to believe a lie. I see a lot of people in church who kill, who belong to secret societies, who do all sorts of things, who can put a baby in a mortar and pound the baby and drink the dust in their courts, who do all sorts of evils, people who can go to restaurants and eat aborted babies. Yet they believe that God is with them because they have confessed Jesus Christ some time ago. This is a lie from the pit of hell. If you think that God is merciful, you have to be merciful today. If you are not merciful to your own soul and repent of all these evils you do, God will never be merciful to you when you die. The story of Lazarus and the, rich man, and the rich man is a very great example. Jesus Christ talked about hell more than any other person in the Bible. Yes, if you want to hear what it's about hell, read the four Gospels. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and also John. Read Revelation, the very words of Jesus Christ in Revelation. You will know that all those who tell you that God is a loving God, God will never be angry with the sinners, God's mercy covers our sins, you will know this is not Old Testament. The, math, the Psalm 7 verse 11, I just read that God is angry with the sinner every day. You may say that is Old Testament, but Jesus Christ talks about hell more than every other person, more than all the prophets, more than all the preachers. And somebody is telling you that bring money, it doesn't mean anything. That God is not angry with you. It is a lie and you need to save your soul. These people are businessmen in the name of God, using the name of God to build up you, to tell you your money or your life. They bring the Bible. They put it on your forehead. And they tell you your money or your life. And you submit your money and also submit your soul. That's foolishness. May the Lord deliver you. Isaiah chapter 30, verses 9 down to 11. Remember this message. This message is a witness to some of you who will refuse to repent. It would have been better for you not to hear this message than for you to listen to this message yet refuse to repent. There are some of you who go to church to perform evil. People are worshipping God. You are urinating on top of the heads of people. 
You go to the altar of God and you possess holy communion. You do all sorts of evil. You go to children's departments and you initiate people's children. You poison people and do all sorts of things. And you believe that God is a merciful God and that his mercy is going to cover you. You are a liar. If you fail to change, you will perish in hell. That is the truth. Isaiah 39. Following. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will never hear the law of the law. We say to the seers. They tell the prophets. See not. And to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us righteous things. Prophesy deceits. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. They tell the righteous. They tell the holy prophets. They tell the holy preachers. Don't tell us the truth. Don't tell us righteous things. Don't tell us right things. Tell us deceits. Tell us lies. That is what our ears have been programmed to listen to. We can't receive the truth. The truth is bitter. We can't take it from you. Cease from speaking truth to us and tell us lies. Because we are not used to the truth. But I tell you that God himself is going to pay you. Because you reject the truth. Because you fail to listen to the truth, God is coming for you. Because you fail to listen to the truth, because you have refused to repent, the wrath of God is coming. It's not that I don't know that people will hate me for what I am telling now and that some people are going to fight me. It is not that I don't know. I know that very well, even before I started coming out Publicly to speak like this, I have been hated before now. It is a fulfillment of God's word. Jesus Christ said you shall be hated of all nations. They shall put you in prison. It is none of my business. When God, Jesus Christ, called me, he said, take up your cross and follow me. It is part of the cross. Hatred is part of the cross. Hatred is part of the things that I need to suffer. And not just me, but everyone that wants to do the will of God and wants to live for the truth. They have to suffer all this. The prophets that are gone, they suffered all this. The preachers who spoke for God, they suffered all this. I know it. Some were killed. And we are not afraid to die for the truth that we believe in. It is not just for us to preach it, but also to defend it with our lives. It's not that I'm not aware. I am not online here to, to pick up uh, uh, something and begin to tickle your ear. I am not here to ask you to sow money into my life. God has always provided for me. I don't preach money, but... God has always provided for me. If I don't have, I know God is working out something better for me. I don't need your money. I don't need it. I'm not one of those who see you going to hell, but refuse to correct you, yet they are interested in your pocket. I am not one of them. I am interested in your soul. And if I'm able to drag your soul from the pits of hell, God will provide all my needs according to his riches in glory, not according to your riches. You are not even rich with your billions. God owns thousands of cattle on a thousand hill. God owns all the money in the central banks of the world. He owns the pounds. He owns everything, including the one in your pocket. So it doesn't matter when you feel that um, if you don't give to your pastor in your local church because he tells you the truth, it doesn't matter. I once said in our church one day that it is better to be fed by the ravens than to be fed with filthy hands to hell with your money. 
If you don't love the truth, yet you want to control the speakers of the truth with your money, you can perish with your money. Perish with it. I'm not one of them. And I will never be one of them. I don't need your $1,000. I don't need it. Repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. You are going to rot and perish if you fail to repent. Because God has said a day to judge this world, to judge all the wickedness, to judge all the abortions, to judge all the trafficking that is going on, to judge all the pedophiles, to judge all those who pervert the truth, to judge all those who want to control the children of God, to judge all those evil people who have come to hide in the church. God has set a day and also committed all judgment into the hands of his son Jesus Christ who died for our sins. Repent and be saved. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24. Because I have called. Because God is calling you to repentance. Because I have called and you refused. Because you are stubborn and you refuse. You refuse to leave your girlfriends. You refuse to leave your boyfriends. You refuse to leave that sinful life. You refuse to stop doing drugs. Because you refuse to stop killing people. Because you refuse to leave your courtesy. Because you refuse to leave your witchcraft. Because I have called you to repentance. And you refuse. Listen. I have stretched. Out my hand and no man regarded. But you have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproofs. And would none of my reproof. I also, God also will laugh at your calamity. A day of darkness is coming. A time is coming when the whole world shall be still. The day is coming when the birds will no longer fly. A day is coming when the stars will lose their power and fall to the ground. A day is coming when the earth, the foundation of the earth is going to quake. A day is coming when the fishes in the water will know that something is about happening in the heavenly realms. A day is coming when the rich will weep and mourn because of their wealth. A day is coming when all these false prophets who deceive you and fly private jets. A day is coming when they are going to weep. A day is coming when the city son of man coming in his glory. When the city son of man coming with his angels. The whole earth is going to mourn. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold he coming with clouds. And every eye will see him. And all those who pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall win because of him. Even so. Amen. A day is coming when the owner of this world will appear. And every man will stand before him and give account. You false prophet, a day is coming when you shall stand before the God you lie in his name. You tell people the spirit of God says, God said, God is telling me when God never spoke to you. When you walk with evil spirits, when you walk with demons, when you walk with demonic powers, when you know you are possessed, when you know that the same witches and wizards you condemn in the day, you connive with them in the night. A day is coming when you shall stand in the front of your maker and your knees will be shaking and you will not be able to, your knees will not be able to carry your weight. A day is coming when that same God you lie in case every time because you need money, because you need fame, because you need wealth. A day is coming when that same God will ask you, did you work for me? Worker of iniquity. A day is coming. All those of you who empower false prophets, you give false prophets money. And you empower them to spread lies against the Lord. A day is coming when you shall stand before him. You see children dying on the street. You see poor people on the street. You can't even buy food, a meal for them. But you heap all the money and you pour them into the life 
of a false prophet. A day is coming when the Lord is going to bring everything you have done. The wealth that you used to empower people, buy guns for people, buy India hems for people, buy drugs for people. A day is coming when you shall give account to God. A day is coming. Even me. A day is coming for me. The same day is coming for me too. When I shall give account of the souls that God has committed into my charge. A day is coming. It says, I'm reading Proverbs chapter 1, 24 to 39. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. When your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh as a wild wind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me. And you will call on God. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. For they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. The Lord is calling you to repentance. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Why? Don't you repent of your sins. I am not telling you that I'm a super righteous man. No, I am striving towards holiness. When I fall, I rise immediately. And I ask the Lord to have mercy upon me. Because I have once, I have once in my life, 2010, when I had accident and had my leg amputated. When that happened, I faced the judgment of God. The finger of God came and wrote on the wall, and I was condemned. But he gave me a second chance, and I will never misuse it so long as God's grace is available to me. It's better to die young than live old and end up in hell. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Many people have been deceived. People are moving from the church to hell. People are dying every day. You don't know when you are going to die. 2010, I dropped my bag on the table and I told my mom, Mom, I want to go and pick up food for someone who had no food. I want to go and pick up a bag of food. I need to give to someone who has no food. I never returned. I saw myself with one leg cut off. I tell you the truth. So shall it be when death comes. I would have just died like that. Nobody knows when we are going to die. You don't know. Me also, I don't know. Stop listening to falsehood. Stop listening to sinners who claim to be saints and representatives of God. Stop giving your money to people who use the money to perpetrate evil. Stop investing in evil, evil clubs, community clubs that don't glorify God. Invest in the poor. There are missionaries who have no food to eat. There, and you know what? There are times God brings some money our way. And he also brings these people our way. So that we can give to them. Sometimes God puts some money in your hand. And brings a beggar to you. A widow to you. So that you can just save a life. But instead of doing that. You listen to the threats of people. Who milk you? Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? I am not condemning you. Look at Isaiah chapter, 40, Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 and 7. 
Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. There are some of you who watch pornography, who watch pornography in your secret. There are some of you, you've been caged in sexual immorality. And you can't come out. No. The body is the temple of the Lord. God expects us to live a holy life. If you are caged by sin, cry out. Cry out. Don't hide it. He who hides his sins will never prosper. Any sin we refuse to deal with today, any sin we refuse to expose today will expose us tomorrow. In hell, people are going to confess their sins willingly. They are going to tell the Lord, Lord, I was a murderer. Lord, I, I was committing abortion. Lord, I used to abuse children. Lord, I used to do this. Lord, I used to steal from the church post. Lord, I never helped the gospel. Lord, I was a deceiver. Lord, I was a hypocrite. Lord, I was using witchcraft to kill people. They are going to scream without shame and confess their sins in hell. But you know what? It will, it will definitely be too late. Why don't you repent today? A lot of times people reach me. Men of God pray for me. Witches are pursuing me. I, I need deliverance. And sometimes the Lord would open my eyes and say, You see this one? This one is wicked. This one has sat upon people. They don't want the progress of their neighbors. I just pray some light prayers for them and allow them to go. Sometimes I tell them the truth and they never come back to me. There was a lady, they submitted names. She said, uh, man of God, help me pray about this man. They are seeking for my head in marriage and the Lord warned me when I was to pray. And the Lord said, stop praying for people like this. Don't pray for them. This lady is wicked. Don't pray for her. She is not my daughter. Don't allow her to consult you again. I know a lot of people, when they hear things like this, they become offended. They go after the speaker of the truth. But my master was persecuted. And we are not afraid of persecution. It is a part of the call. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you false visions and divination. And a thing of naught, and the deceit of their hearts. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. And they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. For I will pour their wickedness upon them. Therefore shall they say, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Therefore, thou shalt say these words unto them, Let thine eyes run down with tears, night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a, grave, with a very grievous blow. The day of judgment is coming. Escape for your life today. Escape for your life today. That you may find rest for your soul. 
Escape for your life today. That you may find rest in the day of judgment. Escape today. Because the wrath of God is coming upon the children of disobedience. The wrath of God is coming. And the Lord is warning his people. Escape for your life. Escape today and be saved. A prophet of God says, I tremble in my spirit. I tremble in myself that I may have rest in the day of judgment. <clears throat> Are you trembling before the word of the Lord? Are you trembling before the Lord? I'm trying to <clears throat> bring out a scripture. I don't know if you are trembling before the word of the Lord. Now, I thank God I found it. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 50, verse 11. Behold, all you, all ye that kindle of fire, that compass yourself about with sparks, walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that ye have kindled. This shall be, this shall ye have of my hand. Ye shall lie down in sorrow. For those of you who have refused the true protection that God gives to his children. And you have surrounded yourself with sparks, with false prophets. The Lord says that because you have rejected him and have aligned yourself to falsehood, to false protection, to false hopes, what you shall get from him is sorrow. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I want to pray with you right now. If you want to repent, close your eyes. Our dear Father in heaven, there is joy in heaven over a single soul that repents. Lord, your children have heard your word. Lord, strengthen their faith. As many who are living in sin, <clears throat> Father, help them. Lord, even myself, I don't want to preach to people and become a castaway tomorrow. No, God forbid. Lord, it is better to die young than live old, live 120 years and end up in hell. For life here is short, but eternity is just too long to miss. Eternal life is just too precious to miss. We can't trade it away. We can't trade it for anything else. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Lord, I pray for myself and I pray for believers all over the world that may we not fall the way Judas Iscariot fell out of grace. I pray for those who don't know you. Lord, help them to know you. As many who are giving their lives to you right now, Father, forgive them their sins. As they renounce their sins, as they go and make restitution, as they throw away their shams, their talisman, as they believe in you only, Lord, strengthen them. As they give up their witchcraft and marine powers, Father, accept them. Forgive all their sins. Never let them look back again. For he who has put his hand to the plow and looks back is no longer fit for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for answering us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you to be steadfast in your faith. Please support us by sharing this message and pray for me also. It is a battle. Speaking the truth is not easy. Pray for me. I am human and 
I need your prayers. Even as I pray for you, I pray for all my subscribers every blessed day. I pray for them. So long as I remember, I pray for them. You have become my constant prayer point. I pray for you every day. As long as I remember, I pray for you. Share this message. Encourage people to subscribe. And don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. You can visit my website, eagleeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I just set up um, an NGO, non-governmental organization, and we support children, children who can't go to school. We send them back to school. We started in 2017, and we'll finish our registration. The website is HDF ng.org or you can google Hosanna David Foundation Hosanna David Foundation uh, you can support us you can pick any child and uh, we are very transparent you can pick any child we also give artificial limbs I mean artificial legs to people who can walk those who lose their arms and lose their legs and make sure we support those who are poor and carry out youth empowerment to empower people we don't have enough resources and uh, me and my friend Shidbem uh, Ekwo Jesse we are doing this and we have we don't have enough resources but uh, we don't need to be rich before we help others we just need to do our best and make sure uh, now that we are still alive we do our best there are so many poor people around us. Uh, even if you don't help the poor through us, you can still help the poor around you. There are so many people around you, you can still help. Support your pastor. If he's preaching the truth, support him. If he's preaching lies, there's no need to support him. If you do, you will be, uh, you will be empowering him to spread more lies. But you can support him with prayers, pray for him, call him to, uh, to order in love. I'm not saying you should uh, always confront him uh, openly, but pray for him and email him, send him test messages and send him messages like this so that he can repent. And finally, don't forget to preach the word of God. If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, know that there are people who are perishing around you and you need to let them know the truth thank you for watching god bless you don't forget to share this message to uh, all your social media and uh, on all your social media platform and also send the audio send it through whatsapp and send the link to people and make sure that people hear the truth of the gospel thank you for watching and god bless you bye